used an analogy between faith and hope, saying that faith is stepping out into the darkness or jumping off into the darkness, and that hope then is having the conviction that someone will catch you. Um, so there I see like a, a knowledge or an expression definitely about hope that someone will catch you. Um, what do you do in a situation where you've been continually jumping and haven't quite been caught yet? Yeah. Um, and your hope is suffering because that being caught isn't something that holds that that lays within your power. It's something that you have to rely on others for. Yeah. Um, let me let me try this. Um, I had a a harrowing experience many many years ago, near death um, encounter, in which I uh, experienced the greatest threat harm to my faith and testimony that I had ever experienced. <clears throat> Came out of the experience very shattered, realizing, you know, I'm not sure I know anything anymore. I don't know if God lives. I don't know if there's a spirit. I don't know if the scriptures are true. And this was many years ago. And as I began to reconstitute my testimony, I began with this question that I asked myself, and that was, is there anything is there anything that I know with an absolute certainty? And I soon realized, yeah, yeah, I know that there's good and evil in the world. And I know that things like faithfulness to my wife and kindness to my children matter and are good. And I know that there are certain practices and experiences that lead us toward a greater light and joy. And well, you get, you get, you get, you get the picture. And that became a new foundation for me, realizing that, that there are truths that are accessible to our spirits, that are absolute and that are irrefutable. And I think if we, if we do that kind of self-inventory, we will realize that we know more than we think we do. Um, we know that conscience is to be trusted and that goodness is beautiful, and that people are transformed by the things that we teach in the Restoration. And uh, always in the back of my mind, I think, were the words of the, of the great Catholic poet, Gerard Manley Hopkins, who ended a, a great poem with these words. He said, he said, Christ plays in 10,000 places, lovely in limbs and lovely in eyes, not his, to the Father, through the features of men's faces. And in my own particular experience, the greatest witnesses I have had of the truth and efficacy of the Restoration are in the countenances of those people who live the gospel and who go to the temple and who fully imbibe and live the teachings of the Restoration. Um, so I think we have, to f we have to personalize our testimonies. We have to find our own way to build up right, that edifice of confidence or knowledge in the Restoration. But it will look different in everyone's case.